Yo, yo, YouTube, YouTube was hating, was hating. It's your boy Free Nitty back with another video. You know what I'm saying? So I know a whole lot of people y'all wanna know what the settlement was gonna hit like or whatever like that. Normally I will drop these settlement videos um from the truck just because I got all my P work and stuff like that. Um but before we get into it, I wanna speak on something which normally I don't direct my attention towards how can I say it I don't direct my attention towards the negativity that come with this YouTube um I would like to say one thing like this guy here um whatever decisions that I decided to make in this trucking journey it is not up to somebody else I don't follow what other people say I don't do what other people say do whatever decisions I decide to make whatever consequences that come with it I will suffer the consequences, you know what I'm saying, however they come, you know what I'm saying, so, well, things of that nature, is like, don't tell me to do something that's gonna feed you and not me, you know what I'm saying, because in real life, in person, like, that, that's just not, I don't think that's what, y'all can sit behind these computers and talk this shit, but in person, it's, it's a whole different ball game, so, I'm well known for dropping my location, you know, and I feel like when people start to put up shit like this, for you to say that you've been driving for a certain amount of time, you my granddaddy age, and you still watching me, it's highly insane, but it also shows me that I'm doing something right, so I appreciate it, um, for the people that come in and just say like, hey man, this, that, the third, Blah, 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 whatever like that. And you want to hype in here hating all the extra shit. Bro, this channel is not geared towards you. Just be a thousand. And if you don't like the content, you can go to another channel. But I greatly do appreciate you for watching and also commenting. I get paid off of it. Somebody also say like, bro, why you go to so many different companies? Hey, bro, it's for the content. If y'all looking for somebody, it's going to be at one place for 10 years. Hey, bro, this, this I'm not him. People, they throw out different suggestions. Companies do offer, hey, come and do this. So, it's just when it came down to EWI, that's why I felt good. If anything was to happen to where I'm at, which is still a Dasky company, I would go back to EWI. That's like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I know I can make some bread and I can go and chill out. I might have to be out for 10 days, but... I feel like it's doable, you know what I'm saying? And still be able to have that stability. Um, WTI so far is decent, you know? So if people got their own opinions about what I should and shouldn't be doing, um, I no longer give a fuck, to be honest. And that's just me being real. If you watch me throughout all this time, I can do nothing but be real with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit about a company because I don't own them. So I don't have to lie about what's being made, how many miles being ran. You know what I'm saying? I come on here and I kick the shit a thousand percent. And I believe that's why I have so many different followers or the subscribers that I have. And I greatly do appreciate it. Um, on the other end, I will not be doing any more requests. As far as, hey, bro, go here. Hey, bro, do this. Hey, bro, do that. <clears throat> because <clears throat> what I learned is, and like my grandmama used to always say, people gonna talk shit as long as you're around. You know what I'm saying? And when I was a company driver, it was, why you don't lease a truck? I lease a truck. When you lease a truck, they say it's stupid. Why don't you go buy a truck? You buy a truck? Oh, the economy fucked up. Why would you buy a truck? You need to go company driver. You go company driver. It's like, oh, you must have fell off. It's like, bro, it, it's really no win-win with a lot of these people. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you try to get on here and do it for the content and shit like that. But I'm far from allowing content or outsiders to stress me out about some shit that they want to see. Go to a different channel. I'm not doing it. While I'm at, I'm comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Kick back, relax. Y'all want to get into this content, right? So, last week, I ran 2,000 loaded miles. 
I took home two thousand dollars. It wasn't too bad. When you think about it, you go to say, "Hey, you only made a dollar a mile." Technically, no. Um, my truck payment is six fifty. Um, with all other expenses, it's fifteen fifty. In the outside, and that isn't even including the fuel. So my thing is this: if I can run two thousand miles and do a thirty-four and still take home two thousand dollars at the end of the week, I'm fine with it. I ain't got no problem with it. Like I always say, between fifteen hundred and two thousand, that's cool. But I see from EWI's standpoint as a company driver, I was pushing three thousand miles, taking home eighteen. Right now, I'm doing thirty fours at the house. I'm home. like today. I'm able to get home. You could be home on Friday, leave out Sunday, leave out Monday. They always send you home with a load. So with that being said, you could do a thirty four at the house and still make your money. You know, and I think that's the that's the major part is if I can make between fifteen to two thousand, be home on the weekend. I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? I actually got time today to get off and go to the outside range that I got membership. Like, um, my daily carry, y'all probably see this often. This is my Glock 19, nine millimeter. I carry this often. This is my daily. This is my daily. So I got a chance to hit the range with this a little bit. It's lightweight, easy to conceal. Um, uh, Got a chance to hit the range with that. It's been a little minute since I actually shot my boot bag carry, which is the BCG-9 carbon. Um, I was able to let a couple rounds all through there. Um, got the drone and the extended mag that goes with it. So, not about 500 rounds through it. Took it apart, cleaned them up. Um, my homeboy had a 308. We were supposed to go deer hunting today, but that's gonna be something. If y'all want to see the whole little hunting series or whatever like that, we can definitely get into it. I actually have time now to be able to add or incorporate that type of stuff to the channel, and that was the, the important thing is like have time to actually have fun and put more content on the channel versus oh, yeah, like he just always in the truck so. That was a whole another part of it. It's, it's nothing wrong with staying out. If that's up to you, that's what you want to do, that's fine. But with me, I like to do shit like this on the weekend. Go hunting, deal hunting. It's that season. You know what I'm saying? Go to the gun range, go race, whatever like that. As you can see, got the tires up there. You know, do a little something while we out on the street. But with WTI, they... they so far, they've been pretty decent. I done snatched hella loads with them. And, you know, I put them up throughout the video. But I done get plenty, plenty loads. And you're going to pick up, drop, pick up, drop. My, my thing is, a load might pay $1,180, 15 took a load for 25 got a load for $1,800. One of them was $1,940. Um, I did gross $5,000, took home two after all expenses. Which I do feel like 32%, some of the stuff that was supposed to come out, that does come out within that um, that fifteen fifty, I feel like it should be incorporated into that 32% that they take out. But hey, that's the way they play it. I read it. We're just going to take it as it is. You know what I'm saying? So, so far, um, I think year to date, I made $10,000. I've been there next week. We'll make a month with them. So... I know I just got a check engine light on my truck, so they told me to bring it in next week, which the truck is running fine, but I believe it's just a sensor, because it's only like one code, but I think it's it's a sensor that's off. Um, It didn't show nothing major. It said sensor, so I'm knowing that that's the only thing, but everything else, they're going to give you 30 days, and you got to bring the truck in. Whatever you find, have them fix it. They will fix it with no problem. You can take it to a TA. If you feel like you need another PM, if you feel like you need breaks, if you, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You take it back within 30 days, they fix everything, and you just got to, they going to keep you running. It's not even one time where I'm just like, bro, we're loaded. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you say, hey, I'm empty, boom, they send in another one, or they might just send two on back to back, like, 
I got these right here. All right, I want that one. All right, well, I got this one right behind that one if you want it. All right, cool. I'll take both of them. And they're going to keep you moving. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I had to live with the load of sheet rock down in Jacksonville, you hit me. Hey, I got some shingles picking up, take, going back to Atlanta. All right, how much they paying? 700 plus 290 fuel surcharge. All right, I know it's Florida coming out of Florida, but at least I ain't have to dead hit home. So I had to take that was like, all right, cool. There's some gas money to get back, to live on Monday morning. That's going to cap off the week and boom, get their first start, take off for the rest of the week. You know, so it's pretty solid, you know, all around, you know, and that's just pretty much what I got. If you got any other suggestions and stuff you want to see, um, actually, I'm about to... Um, I'm about to put the shifty extension in the truck and all the lug nut covers. Try to make the truck look good. Something that, you know what I'm saying, I want to roll around in and just, just make the truck look more appealing because it's, it's just plain right now, which I I like the stacks that come on them. Um, actually, they do get E.W. Wiley trucks in. So when E.W. Wiley sells the trucks, it goes to them and they lease the trucks out. Whatever like that. My truck was like eighty thousand dollars for two years, so six sixty five a week. And I think I'm gonna just ride it out as long as I can hop on the road during the week, be home on the weekend, do my extra little stuff. And because I've been really want to build my car or whatever like that, but I'm not home to build it. So just the weekends off give me extra time to do more stuff and bring more content to the channel. You know what I'm saying? But I do appreciate y'all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And I'll catch up with you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.